Hey everyone, so I got my Pop Sugar Must Have box for the month of March. This is definitely becoming one of my favorite boxes. You get a large variety of items, anywhere from beauty to fitness. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I saw is this box by Heather Bell. And you know I can't resist my boxes and this definitely looks like it's a piece of jewelry which I love getting in these boxes so let's just open it up oh so it is a tassel necklace this is very pretty um, it is so long I can't I don't know if you can see the length of this um, so pretty very nice. So I used to only wear silver and I am so glad I've branched out and starting to wear more gold. And, and to be honest, I think gold is becoming more of my preference style. So pretty. I love that. Okay, so the next thing I got is bubble wrap. So let's just open this up, see what's in here. Ah. Oh. So here's the problem. It's like taped up top. <laughs> okay, so they actually taped the top up, which is great because I've heard so many people um, complaining about their bottles being broken in shipment. Um, not this in particular, but just in general. So that's great. All right, so this is the laundress. It's a uh, detergent for your delicate clothing. And as you can see on the bottom here, it's non-toxic, biodegradable, huge bottle, 16 fluid ounces. And on the back here, it tells you what articles of clothing you should use it on and how to use it. One sixteenth of a cup, so two capfuls. This is huge. This will last quite a while. Okay, this next thing is my absolute favorite thing in the box. It is a wine key. It's called Corkatu Waiter's Corkscrew. How adorable is that? So freaking cute. Um, I think it's made by True. This is the company here. So let's open it up. And even just this packaging is so cute too. Look how adorable that is. The beak here is the actual beer bottle opener. And I have a ton of wine keys. Um, and the reason being is because all of these knives here that you open up the foil with are serrated. I haven't found a way to sharpen these knives very well. So if you have any advice on that, let me know. This is so cute. I cannot wait to use it. I might have to test it out tonight. The next thing I got is this sweater saver. It's made by Hollywood Fashion Secrets. I used to own something similar to this. I had a friend that worked in the dry cleaning business and they used to use these to get rid of the pilling and sweaters or the little lint balls on clothing. So I know it really does work. Mine, unfortunately, um, you can see it's kind of like, like I said, charcoal looking in there. So all these little black particles would fall apart. And it also gave off this like sulfur scent to it. I don't know if this one smells or it, how well the particles will hold on there. But if and when I do open this up, I definitely uh, recommend putting it in a little plastic. So the next thing I got is by Buxom. It's a mascara and I am so excited. This is my first makeup product by Buxom. Buxom and I have been really wanting to try them out. So let's take a look at the mascara. I'm not going to open this up. I have a few different mascaras that I'm almost finishing up right now. So I want to save this till then. But I've looked on the side of the packaging here and it is an S-shaped wand. I've never used a wand that looks like that before. So that's going to be really interesting to test out. The next thing I got is this mini two-piece nail polish set by The New Black. I'm going to take it out of the packaging because this silver here is going to start blinding me and you. Okay, so this is much better. So the actual colors aren't my favorite, but I don't really have these colors in my collection, so that'll be nice to try out. The color collection is actually called Pardon My French. 
And now that I'm actually looking closer, it looks like they have a really nice shimmer to it. So it might be actually prettier than what I imagine. Um, I might try these out actually as a reverse French. I've never done that before. If you um, think that I should wear this as my base or, or this one as my base, let me know. They also included two must-have extras, and the first one are these marshmallow peeps, and I am so excited. You know, most, um, hi, Amity. Most subscription boxes just kind of disregard the fact that there's a holiday coming up and just go along with the box. But Pop Sugar has not done that, and I'm so excited to get these. I will definitely be eating these very soon. All right, so the last extra they threw in is Fashion Tape by Hollywood Fashion Secrets. This is a sample pack, and you can see it just includes one of each one of these items and let's open it up i've never actually used fashion tape before so i'm always interested to see what it looks like ah so it doesn't look like anything special actually um really it just looks like you could make these tapes your own self um i wonder if they're just sturdier than normal tape i'll have to look into it so that was everything in my Pop Sugar Must Have box for the month of March. And I am absolutely in love with everything in this box. I can't wait to try everything out. If you're not signed up for Pop Sugar yet, pause the video and just go sign up. Everything's awesome. I can't wait till next month. I did get three more boxes in the mail today. It felt like Christmas. So if you're not subscribed to me, definitely do that now. You can check those videos out pretty soon and I'll leave all the stuff that you want to know down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.